Hey loves, okay y'all, I am here to give you a three-in-one. Like, I think this is my first three-in-one. Maybe not, but I think it is. So, me and my husband, um, going on a late Valentine's Day, uh, date this past weekend, so it was the 16th, so two days after Valentine's Day, and I want to do this video way before time, but I am the person that, uh, I kind of like to do my get ready with me when I'm actually getting ready. So <laughs> this is actually moments before we went on a date and I didn't know where we were going. Um, but he told me to be more classy than slutty. <laughs> so that is how I decided to uh, dress. So you will see my dress. It may be in the thumbnail. Mm, you'll see it though. The whole thing together at the end. So I was just putting on my wig. Um... Now I'm going to be going in this Morphe palette. And y'all, I think I lost some clips from me putting on my eyeshadow. So I really want to apologize for that. Um, I missed a couple of the colors. But it was mostly just all browns. You guys know I'm not the best when it comes to eyeshadows. I am no beauty guru over here, child, okay? She is not a beauty guru. So I don't know what I be doing half the time, okay? So don't be trying to take no tips and tricks from me. But this is just a simple get ready with me. This is me doing my makeup. Okay, so that next shade I'm going to be going in is that dark reddish brown. And for some reason, I cannot seem to get the color brown that I want. Like, I have this whole palette full of nudes, full of browns, and I still can't get the brown that I want. It always comes out red-ish. But oh well, trial and error. And so, I think I was just blending those two colors in. You know what? I may have all the clips. That may have been all the browns that I used. Okay, cool. That's good. I think that's all the browns that I used in the... I'm going to use one more brown. So right now, I'm just blending that in. I had to take my gum out. Could y'all hear the gum in my mouth? So anyways, I'm just basically blending those two colors together. I think that's what I was doing. Child, I don't know. But check this out, y'all. Those rollers that you see in my head, I had those rollers in this wig for an entire week. Like, I was ready, y'all. I was ready for our Valentine's Day weekend. And I still forgot to buy holding spray. So the curls still fail. <laughs> But you know what? It's trial and error. I'm going to get this whole thing, everything together at one point. Y'all give me a couple more months. Okay, so I'm going to be going to this NYX palette. And I'm just going to be using that uh, darker brown shade on my outer V area. You guys know, I, if you watched any videos of me putting on makeup, I cannot do any eyeshadow look without putting a darker color on the outer V. And for some reason, I didn't. I decided not to use all my lid space. I don't know what I was thinking. I think in my head, I thought I was using all of my lid space, but I wasn't. It's like everything. Yeah, see? Like, it's going to come together, though. It's okay. But look, check this out. I'm going to be using my Angel Eyes uh, eyeshadow primer to cut my crease. And I got this flat brush from Amazon. Y'all, it has really made cut creases a lot easier for me. So... Just put a flat brush on Amazon. If I can find the, the exact brush, I'll put it down below in the description box. But I just put in like flat brush on Amazon and it gave me this brush and it was super cheap. It came in a set and I really just wanted this brush. But y'all, y'all can y'all tell that my cut creases look a little better? And I was watching somebody else's video and they said get a fluffy brush and kind of dust it off like after you put it on just so it won't like crack and stuff y'all that really really helped because i was having that problem so shout out to miss kiki adams i think that's who video i was watching i'm getting better at this whole cut crease thing y'all <laughs> y'all gonna turn around and your girl gonna be really knowing what she's doing okay i'll be on here talking about yeah i am a beauty guru or something like that <laughs> y'all gonna mess around i'm gonna learn how to do this crap okay so anyways, I'm just going into this ColourPop uh, palette, and I'm going to be using, you guys saw what shade it is, and that's just going to be one of my shimmer shades. It's just like a goldish color, and I was going for a dark brown, goldish, sultry type look, and I didn't achieve that, but I, I was not disappointed with the look that I did achieve, okay? <laughs> so now I'm going into my Aura palette. I got this um, palette from Hush.com and I'm going to be going into the shade Phenomenon. This palette was only like $11. They have a lot of dupes on um, Hush.com. Now, I will say some of the, the colors are patchy, but you know what you get what you pay for. But overall, I like this palette. I can't complain. You guys know I'm cheap and I, if I can find me a good deal, I'm going with the deal. Okay, sis? That's just me. Okay, so I applied my liner with this uh, pretty vulgar liner. And y'all, I really liked it. Y'all know I'm a NYX stand. 
that NYX liner is bae. But I actually like this liner. So yeah, I'm just applying my Better Than Sex to my eyelashes. And then I'm going to be going into these new lashes that I recently got from uh, Walmart. And it's by Salon Perfect. I'm not sure what number it is, y'all. I think it's 643 or something like that. But it came with two in there and they're supposed to be like 3D fluffy lashes. And I, I like them. And I was, like I said, I wanted to be kind of sultry, kind of sexy. You guys know, you know. And I think they gave me what I was looking for. Do y'all like them? Let me know down below in the comments. Okay, y'all. So, I put on my No Pore Bloom um, primer. And I combined my Clinique and my Lancome foundations. And it's going to look a little dark. It's going to look a little orange, reddish. But, y'all, it really came together. So, I think this is my new combination of... Uh, foundations I wasn't mad at it I like for my foundation to be darker anyway because I, um, I highlight and I did use a very bright highlighter highlight chat <laughs> I did use a very bright highlight so I was glad that it you know it it came together like it, it came together God was on my side this day because I want to be cute for my husband, you know? I want to look good for him. I know he was going to say, babe, you look good no matter what, but I really wanted him to look at me and be like, ooh, babe, you know? Yeah, no, y'all know how it is. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm applying my foundation um, with this brush that I got from... Where did I get it from? I think I got it from Walmart. I think I got it from Walmart. And now I'm going into my Born This Way uh, concealer. And like I said, this concealer is pretty light. So I'm glad that my foundation was pretty dark. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just moving that hair out of my face. I don't know what I'm doing here, child. Dancing. <laughs> okay, y'all. This sponge. Y'all, this sponge is everything. It's by uh, Equate, I think. I got it from Walmart. It was like 2 or $3, y'all. It's super soft. This is like right now my new favorite sponge. If you guys can find these sponges in Walmart, cop it. You will not be disappointed. It is so soft. I would say it's close to a beauty blender, but child, I ain't never owned one. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to be setting my face with Huda. Okay, don't judge me. I use the shade Blondie. I, this is this is the only setting powder I have found that is perfect for my dry skin. I, I like it better than Laura Mercier. I like it better than anything, so don't judge me. Um, and I'm going to be uh, using Black Radiance uh, Foundation Stick to contour with. So that's what I'm doing here. And this eyeliner is by a brand Vintage, Vintage or something like that. Y'all, that have, that is my favorite eyeliner. And it came in BoxyCharm. Y'all know I'm a BoxyCharm stand, okay? I love BoxyCharm. Okay, so now I'm just brushing away all of that Huda. And I'm going to be setting the rest of my face with my Fit Me setting powder. My Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. Okay, and I'm going to be spraying my face to get rid of all that powder with my Mario Badescu. And now I'm going into this pretty vulgar bronzer that came in BoxyCharm. Y'all know, I told y'all I'm a BoxyCharm stand, and it was it's a really good shade of bronzer for me. I was kind of worried, but I like it. Me like it. I think this is going to be my new bronzer. And I'm going in with another bronzer because I'm extra. And this came out of a pure palette. I didn't show you guys the cover because the name has been wiped off. I've had it that long. I use it that much. Yeah, so that's why I didn't show that. Okay, now I'm going back into that NYX uh, eyeshadow and back into that brown shade. I'm just going to be um, applying that to my bottom lash line. And I'm using like a pencil eyeshadow brush, y'all. Amazon is life when it comes to brushes, okay? Go get you some brushes from Amazon. I like them. Okay, this is something else that came <laughs> out of BoxyCharm. I know y'all get tired of me talking about BoxyCharm, but BoxyCharm is life. And this mascara is by the Lorac. And yeah, I love this mascara. And I just applied the primer. And okay, my blush, also BoxyCharm, Laura Geller. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to set my face now with my Morphe setting spray. And I'm going into these Cover FX Glitter Drops. You guys guessed it. Came out of my boxy charm. <laughs> Y'all, these are multiple boxy charms over time. Okay, now I'm going back into um, that pure palette. And I'm applying like a powdery highlight to my 
to on top of that other highlight just because I'm extra child okay okay now I'm gonna do my hair now this wig that I'm wearing is actually from Ally Pearl I do have a review on this wig so if you want to check it out I will have it down below in the in the description box if you want to check out my review on this hair so I ended up combing some of those curls out and I'm just kind of trying to see how, how I want to wear my hair. I didn't know how I wanted to do it. I didn't know what I was going for. And finally, I just decided to do a part. <laughs> I'm just cutting a long piece of baby hair. I didn't do anything extra to my baby hairs, really. Uh, that's how they were the last time I wore this wig. And I didn't really touch them. So I just applied a little bit of got to be glued to the ends of it and that was pretty much all I had to do um, I really like this wig y'all I think it is really really pretty I didn't even realize how much I like this wig until I did this video there go ma straightening comb shout out to you ma every time I take it out I'm giving you shout out man you took one for the team girl. you took one for the team sis <laughs> okay y'all um but yeah I'm just laying this wig and styling it and the rest of this video is gonna be this the rest of this part is just me styling the wig so i'll come back to you guys after when i come back i'll come back to you guys when i get to my lipstick okay okay and, and enjoy me styling this wig. Okay, we are almost at the part where I'm going to be applying my lipstick. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys I'm going to be wearing my Fenty Uncensored, my Fenty Stunner Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. And um, yeah, I love this lippy. I want to go ahead and come to you guys because that, that little clip isn't long and then it's going to go into the slow mos and I want a different song and I want you guys to hear the song and I want you to get into my vibe. So I want to tell you guys, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so, so much. I really do appreciate all your love and support. And what I want to say, oh yeah, at the end, 
I'm going to be showing clips that my husband filmed for me where I'm, like, putting on my lotion and stuff. Y'all know kind of feeling sexy, you know, you know. And I, I just wanted to try a little something. Let me know what you think about that ending and the clips that he filmed for me. And let me know what you think about this overall look. And like I said, y'all, I really do appreciate your love and support. And... Yeah, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Did I say that, y'all? Okay, y'all, I'm getting delirious. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay, I, it's time for bed. Okay, it's time for me to go to bed. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next video.